beer tubers. Welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Yannick Lomoltz. Or tonight, joined by <laughs> an evening review of a pretty interesting beer. This is one of Brewdog's newest releases, and this is the Brewdog Coca Psycho, a 10% Imperial Stout. I think they brought this to CBC, but we didn't taste it. There was so much other great stuff, and that was like a pilot version. Yeah. But this is basically a big 10% Imperial Stout uh, brewed with chocolate and coffee. And uh, they use the coffee both in the uh, boil and then uh, in infused it. Yeah, boil. And then also after fermentation. And then it's aged on vanilla beans, coca nibs, and French, was it oak chips? Or was it roasted too? French roasted oak chips? Yeah, I, I think, think it was. So, yeah, this should be an interesting brew. So, we got the Brewdog Coca Psycho Poured. Wow, that is just pitch black. Yeah. There's no light penetrating this beer whatsoever. Nope. Nice. Well, it's kind of a fizzy uh, sounding head at yeah. least when you pour it in. It's quite dark. It's almost like the same color as Marshall Sukov's. Uh, like that dark tan. Mm. But yeah, let's check out your own on it. Hmm. Not as much like vanilla and no, there's intensities. Al there's almost a hoppy component mm -hmm. to it. I'm getting the toasted oak notes. Yeah. That's more dominant, I think, than vanilla and coca bean. And the aroma, at least. But, it, but it a lot of Weirdly refreshing. Mm. Lots of deep, dark, roasty tones. Dark fruits too. A little bit of alcohol as well. Bit, yeah. But very roasty, almost yeah. smoky. That kind of almost like a burnt wood character. Mm. It does have some coffee notes, not huge. I'm not picking it up with the vanilla. And the chocolate notes I'm getting is just like regular dark chocolate. Yeah. Not like sweeter cocoa bean. Stuff. There's a little amount of vanilla, but it's really faint. It is quite faint. Yeah, that little bit of. Yeah, well, we'll see how it is. Let's go say cheers. cheers. That is quite a nice imperial stout. It is. But for me, they could have used a lot more cocoa bean and vanilla. Yeah, but the coffee really... Is coffee is what dominates, yeah. along with that charred oak. It does but, have a... But it's not the heavy roasted coffee or anything. No. It has this super heavy roast character though. Got a lot of roasted malt, that kind of burnt oakiness. Yeah. Uh, almost like a smoky tone. Yeah, and the chocolate is really subtle. Actually, mm -hmm. I, I thought it would be... Extravagant. I thought it would be like balls. crazy and lush and desserty as yeah. some of the others we've had. Like that's been brewed with stuff like this. It's still a great brew. It is. It is. It's really balanced and a little hint of the heat. Uh, not too much alcohol, but it, there is a little layer. I'm picking up on like the roasty tones. I said oh, burnt ashy notes too. Some dark fruit characters. Some toffee and uh, yeah, sweet toffee. Mm -hmm. Toffee. Toffee. But you kind of have to search for the vanilla and coca bean notes to find them. They're there, but they're kind of hidden. Yeah. And the, the coffee is there, but again, if you didn't know that this was brewed or made with vanilla, coffee, and coconut, I don't think it would taste it per se, maybe. Well, not as thinking it, it, it was brewed with it, but you yeah. might taste the nuances as if it was just, you know, a regular imperial style. Yeah. Um, so I'd say put more, more in there. Yeah. I mean, maybe they meant it to be like this with small nuances, but... I prefer where it's big and bold. Yeah, well, it's Coco Psycho. Yeah, so really it's called Psycho. psycho. It's not co a Coco Psycho beer. I mean, it does have those cocoa and dark chocolate notes, but uh, unless it hits you, a, it's more dark chocolate than cocoa, I think. Yeah. Well, American Psycho was kind of like the Psycho in the closets <laughs> thing. I don't know, but it's it's a very good. It's some poppy tones, kind of green leaf hop. Um, it's a really nice imperial style. It sounds more knocking it, knocking it a little. But that's only because it says. I mean, the description is like the Brewdog slash Stone style description about it being luxurious and big and bold, and, and it is pretty big, big and bold, and really nice imperial style. But it's not as big and bold as as it promises. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I wanted more of those flavors, but still, again, there is hints of vanilla and coca. But the most dominant flavor that stands out is the toasted oak. Mm. There's definitely a nice character of toasted oak, but I would have wanted more of the other notes. So, still a really nice imperial stout. Uh, rating wise, I'm gonna go straight up 90 on it. I could have gone higher, but I'm a little bit, bit disappointed in the fact that there is so little of the coca and the vanilla and all in there. I'm a little perplexed. I don't know what to create it, but uh, I will happen so. 
really, I guess. 92. Yeah, 92. I do enjoy it a lot. Um, yeah, it is really nice. I'm just, I was hoping that it would be, it would be this super yeah. sweet dessert beer. Oh well, kind of thing. Good but, beer. Yeah, it's a great, 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 I mean 90 and 92 with this great grades. Uh, but yeah, it's more of a big and roasty brutal style. So. Yeah. Definitely guys, let us know what you think of the Brewdog Coca Psycho, if you've had it. As always guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.